Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another Ferris Farming Organic YouTube video. Today, we're going to be chisel plowing. Some guy commented on last video something about brand loyalty to John Deere. They were pretty much a John Deere dealer now. All we do is promote them. Um, today, we're running a John Deere quad and a John Deere chisel plow. All right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that was a lot funnier in my head, but anyway. Alrighty, today we're doing tillage because it's all we have to do. But you guys are smart. You probably caught on to that when I said chisel plow. Anyway, we're almost done with tillage, which is awesome to say it is november 15th we're not like crazy late yet we're not going to be going into december but we were done earlier last year so as a farmer i feel like it is my duty to say we are way behind schedule when really we're only like four days but anyway we have about 270 acres up here left um we had to wait for augmenter to get spread down home we have probably another hundred and then just kind of odds and ends sprinkled around the area that we were waiting on manure to be spread. So we'll be done hopefully. I mean, I'm not even going to say a date because I don't know when they're going to get it spread. And that's kind of the issue you run into every fall is if they have it spread, you can do tillage. And if they don't, you can't really do tillage on that field. Because I've mentioned it before, Manure, hog manure, chicken litter, turkey litter is how we get our nitrogen uh, in the fall. And tillage is how we incorporate it. So it's kind of a very important part of our operation. We're also getting chickens today, so that's really fun. <laughs> As if we don't have enough going on. Good times and tan lines. Anyway, that was kind of a little update on how things were going. Uh, I'm gonna to try to get this field done before I have to go to basketball, which at 2.30 I should probably be home. 7.18 at the moment. We have 230 acres, we get about 40 acres per hour. Uh, should be about five to six hours, give or take. So, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting this done before we have to leave. So we'd be done by two o'clock. I don't know why I'm really talking about this, but I'm going to. Um, never mind. We're not going to talk about that. You guys are smart enough to figure it out. Give you guys a little sunrise view this morning. I lied, guys. We did get done. I'm sure, you guys can probably tell this was soybean ground. You can see the residue from the soybeans. Um, we do farm this bordering field. It was corn this year. It's half and half. Uh, they are still spreading hog manure on this. I mean, the corn stalks, you guys can see, were already worked up. They were disc stripped. But you can see these lines, like right here. That's from the hog poop, guys. So right now, I'm working off of an angle to the plowing. So instead of, you know, turning around the corn stalks and doing it more, getting the beans done faster, I'm just gonna work in the hog manure they did. And when they're done spreading, they're spreading out of the site over there. I think they're probably almost empty. We'll just finish all the corn they spread. So that'll be oats next year. I think. I don't know why I said that, but I did. Anywho, I'm going to put you guys on the chisel plow, probably the tractor. You guys can listen to the chisel plow work, the tractor run. A lot of people seem to enjoy that. So for the next two minutes or so, we'll do that. Then we'll take the drone up. And hopefully by then we are uh, done with this field. But just reference, if you see the GoPro and Beanstalks and the next clip is working up corn, it's the same video. It's just, I already explained what I'm doing, I guess. 
Anyway, enjoy. Sadly, not with this field. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, the spreader guys are still putting hog manure on the corn. Now we, we don't put manure on anything after it's been worked up usually, but uh, there's extra at the hog site they're pulling out of, so they're just putting it on the, the field. Anyway, so for the rest of the video, probably gonna talk about a few things. Sam's gonna come take my spot. I will not have enough time to finish what they're all spreading right now plus the end rows and be home in time for uh, basketball. But uh, yeah, the rest of the video is not gonna be very entertaining for you guys. But this is probably the last video that I'll probably take in the field this year. So, bittersweet feelings about that. It's always good to be done in the field, but I love being the tractor, favorite part of the job. So uh, I always miss it over the winter. So if you guys have any great ideas on things you wanna see throughout the winter, uh, shop projects, the bin side video is coming out soon. Uh, a few more things hopefully will happen within the next month or so. Super excited about it. I'm not going to spoil them. Um, but yeah, comment what you guys want to see, what you want to hear about, stuff like that. Give me ideas. I want to keep posting about two, two videos, two to three videos a week for uh, just to kind of keep up the content uh, the whole year. But uh, yeah, comment if you have anything you want to see, learn about, talk about, stuff like that. As always, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, wow, Thomas, I know what you're doing now. I wonder if you want to know what I'm doing now. I do. I worded that so dumb. Um, comment what you're up to. Love hearing about it. Every video is going to be the same thing. Uh, just comment. Makes me happy. But yeah, that's kind of all I got for you guys today. We, we chisel plowed. We got, I mean, quite a bit done, like 200 some acres done, 250. Uh, granted, this is a 60 foot chisel plow. We're going six and a half miles an hour, getting 50 acres per hour. So we get a lot done in this. Otherwise, I mean, it was a good fall. It was fun making videos for you guys. And I hope you guys continue to watch the winter videos. I'm not sure what they're gonna be. I'm sure we'll find something to do. <laughs> Maybe we'll pick up, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. 
Maybe we'll go ice fishing or something. I've been ice fishing one time in my life. Maybe we'll go snowboarding, that'd be fun. But if I were you guys, I would just comment what you want to see because if you don't, it's probably going to turn into a bunch of random things. So, yeah, I think Sam's almost here. Anyway, Sam's almost here or he's just pulling in. He'll probably need like 30 more gallons of fuel to finish this. So we're going to put a little bit in and then uh, he's going to finish this. I'm going to go home. He'll bring this home after that. And uh, yeah, we'll pretty much be done with fall all things. It's pretty exciting. So I think I mentioned it before, we got like 100 acres left at home of soybean ground we got to work in with the chisel plow. I had about three bars. That fuel tank on this tractor is a 400 gallon fuel tank. So say you burn 25 gallons per hour, 400. Anyway, we need to put more fuel in it to finish. Yeah. Good luck. It's much harder to do things like that one-handed, believe it or not. It's actually not as easy. It's not as easy as I make it look. And there he goes. First day on the job. That was a joke. It's not his first day on the job. Anywho, we're gonna head home. Probably eat some lunch, it's one o'clock. Um, maybe go see the birds in the barns. That'd be pretty cool. Probably won't show you guys that though. People might get angry about that. I don't know, but those comments are always fun to read. So maybe we'll do that someday. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you did watch, like and subscribe. Even if you didn't enjoy it, still like the video and subscribe to the channel because uh, that'd be really nice of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.